Demon Razor Blade. Well, hey guys, it's Demon. Welcome back to another episode. Let's play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last episode, we started the Predator Wakes by doing the recon mission and doing the drug mission with the elephant because now the satellite array is gone so Rajan can't figure out what we're doing. Uh, we could be doing the stuff in the safe house and he won't know. But that, well, it really was only just like a... I really don't even know like how bat like the Batley nerd magic or whatever. You can also get burned by this, just wanted to tell you. You can get burned by that. Okay, so in this episode we are going to be hopefully at least getting the two missions done here and I forgot the slime missions right there. Yeah, I'd suggest doing the slime mission first because oh my god. The Bentley mission here, I just don't like. Actually, there's two Bentley missions in this level, and both of them I hate with a bloody burn and passion. Like, I just do not like it. Like, cause it, cause you're kind of seeing from like the last episode that really Sly is getting most of the action on field or whatever. And to get up to the where I'm where you're supposed to go right now, we have to actually uh, climb up onto here to get onto this area. Yeah, there is a whole bunch of stuff that's kind of figure out hard to get. Like, in this level is actually, has the, has the, like, mission recon thing that is the hardest to get to. So let's just go to, right here, water bug run. Let's go. Sly, the insect in that pool is a rare Indian water bug. If you can carry it into Rajan's office, its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug it is an elegant plan i agree now pay attention that water bug can only survive in stagnant pools if kept out of water too long it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards hmm looks like there's a few pools along the way to rajan's office a short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet okay this mission I had no idea what to do for the longest time that I could never get this because I never knew the pattern you were supposed to do. So what you have to do is you have to take the bug and know this is this commentary is aligned perfectly. I just said that after I got it. So what you have to do is you have to put it in these pools. Like the first pool I could find like perfectly fine and I don't even know how I snuck, snuck attack that guy so fast. Like I suggest getting these guys out of the way. Like try to get the perfect run on these uh, areas. So go across there. Okay. So I know what to do here. So now you want to do is you want to... Uh, Take the bug here, and you want to uh, bring it to the next pool, which is kind of over here. It is very hard. Like, if you don't know where the pools are, this can be hard. Like, just uh, just go over here. Like, you just want to try to get it before the bug kind of reacts or whatever. I mean, the bug will probably react, like, there, but it's really not that bad. Just get him into the pool of water before, like, any guards can, like, ever try to see where you are. And I suggest going up here just to make sure there's, like, no guards around the vicinity or whatever. So, yeah. You can also try to go kind of fast on here, but I'd suggest, like, not taking your time, but just try to go on it pretty fast. Also, if you land in water and get hit by an enemy, you'll automatically lose this, and let's just kill this guy here, because I can. And what you want to do is you just want to get this guy right in here before any guards. Well, wow, I don't know why I keep saying that. And the next one is actually a pretty long run. We have to actually run all the way down to that pool right there, which is actually kind of hard. And watch out for this elephant. You don't want... Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh crap. Okay, see if we can get ourselves in here, and yeah. Okay, thank god. I didn't want to end up like, oh, shiny pocket, oh, shiny pocket. The shiny pocket could kill me, but I don't know. It's not going to, because I got a silver pen. Uh, Legend of Zelda music plays. Okay, so now, this is actually like the worst combination you can ever have here. Like a flashlight guard right there. I I'm going to take that guy out. So I just do not want this guy to like screw me over when I'm trying to do this because it's going right up there where I'm trying to go. And I, in game, do not generate another guard there. I'm going to be freaking pissed if you do. Because this game randomly generates guards. Like, if you look at, oh, are you, oh, frick. Okay, thank you. Also, you can shortcut up here to get to the water pool. I never knew that for like the longest of times. Like, I never knew you could actually get that. Okay, so now, oh, coming up here is actually, uh, the best idea to do here is actually just, uh, clearing out the guards because there's usually like two or so guards here and you want to clear all of them out before like anything bad happens or whatever it really doesn't matter which one you clear out first or whatever okay crap oh skill that is skill right there i have no idea how i pulled that off that is just pure plain skill yeah so i better hope like it just because i have my camera angle went away from it 
Like, they'll just randomly regenerate a guard whenever they, whenever this game feels like it, which gets annoying. Like, sometimes they'll just, it's like a render distance, you can't even see it, so get this here, and now, here is actually a little bit tricky. I never knew how to do this for a while, but you have to, like, jump up here, and you have to, like, jump on this, no, you have to face it and jump on the let, no. Okay, let me try that again, like, if you keep failing, you want to just keep putting it back in the water, but you, let's try, uh, jumping up here, and, okay, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm not so sure if that's exactly, I mean, I'm actually pretty sure that's not exactly what you're supposed to do to get up there. That's just whatever, all the time, stuff I used, so. Now, coming up here, what we have to do is, I'm pretty sure the bug can't, like, get irritated or anything. Just try to stay away from the lasers, because if you get hit by the lasers, you lose the mission. You have to start all over again. I'm just going to talk through this just because I can, and, yeah. And I'm still over, like, because, like, if you get hit by the lasers, you have to start from the beginning where the bug is, so, yeah. So yeah, another mission that can't, a pr pretty mission that I really do not like, and why didn't that guy let me hit him? Because it did it did not let me. Also, this is an awesome area to grind for coins. Like, there's so many coins you can get in this little tiny area right here. I still feel nervous from doing that. I don't know why. Like, like I get nervous about missions. Like, I was pretty nervous. Like, I didn't want to say, like, okay, don't hit the lasers, because I didn't want to, like, jinx my... Like, if you did that, it'll say you failed the mission. You have to start all over again, which... Okay, I was about to say, like, it's been pretty good. Well, I don't want to show off the fail screen. Just, well, I mean, I want to try to stay away from the fail screen as long as I can. But whatever, it'll, it, it'll probably happen. Like, I know it'll definitely happen this LP. I know I am not going to be going through every single mission without uh, getting at least one fail on a certain mission. Whoa. Jerkish enemy placement, seriously. Like, they, they put two flashlight guards right back to back to each other. That's just crazy. Okay, now let's, we have to make all the way back, all the way over there, all the way there, yeah. We have to make it all the way there. Why am I doing that? Okay, can I, uh, oh, oh I have a good idea. I, I, I thought, I thunk to something. I thunk to something, oh my god. Let's go up here and all the way. Jumpity, 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 jump, jump, jumpity, 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 jump, jump, jumpity, 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 jump, 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 jump. Can I get up here? Thank you. Oh, that this, oh, this is probably the highest place you can ever go in this. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, this is actually a pretty easy way to get there. It's probably not the way, like, the easiest way, but I've never actually went this route. I'm just too bored to actually just walk on the ground. I'm just taking the vines, the detour vines, and, yeah, wait. Okay, I'm not going to be a daredevil and try to get it from down there, because I really don't want to and die snake, even though I said that too late. Okay, let's see. Can I... Awesome! That's pretty... I wouldn't call that skills. I just didn't have to go down to the bottom or whatever. So let's go into Bentley's stage where he has to do some fighting. Oh yeah, still gotcha. Kill you. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from these guys because I, I really... Ooh, Nelly! Oh, you hit me. But anyways, the Rajan mission, I believe, is just going up here. The easiest way, like, I, I thought you had to go, like, a huge, like, a tiresome way but you have to actually just really go here and just uh, keep going through here i'm not so sure if this is a shorter route and i don't want to keep getting hit so yeah with bentley just run don't just don't try to kill enemies because seriously it's not really all that useful i mean i mean his sleep dart thing is useful you'll actually be seeing in this mission that he's going to be using his sleep dart thing a lot and anyways the mission waypoint thingamajigger thing or thing or thingamajigger is right here let's just go here and which the mission is leading rajan okay let's go as I expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you gonna get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place. Okay, so, basically, as you see, the green marker will show where Rajan is, and the red ones will show where the watermelons are. So what we have to do is basically just, uh, try to shoot at random places to get Rajan to move to places. 
Like, don't shoot towards you, because if you shoot towards you, it's just not that good of a deal. Just just stay in the same place to get him right there, and you'll see this cutscene where he'll, uh... So, let's see, he'll take one bite out of it, then he'll just throw it in the air and just chomp the whole thing, and then he'll go to sleep. Okay. So, the, the, you're gonna hear my strategy here is, uh... No. N no. No. Come on. Okay, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I get you. I get you. So, what I w would suggest here is just... After doing this, just keep hitting Rajan. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. I said hit him. Or just, like, get noticed or something. Just try to get noticed. Like that. Like, just get noticed and Rajan detected you. Okay. But if you... But if you fail, a cool thing is that you actually keep your blueprints. I'm pretty sure you keep your blueprints. Yep. You see, we have one out of three blueprints. So, yeah. So, that's a cool idea. Just hit him after that. I didn't want to go in the water. I wanted to... I wanted to jump over here. Like, th this game is screwing me over with the enemy placements, I mean, God. So, what I suggest here is just getting up here. This one, you really don't have to, like, uh, fail or something on. Just, uh, try to keep at this waypoint and just get them to this watermelon. I always do these watermelons in the same order. Like, I always do- No! Oh, crap! Crap, 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 crap. Oh, I- Oh, I actually got him. I didn't- I thought I was gonna get caught. I didn't know he actually fell for the watermelon. Okay. That's, uh, sorry for if I messed- your ears up by that scream okay i just ran away because i thought oh okay let's just get this and you really don't have to hit him after this because i'm pretty sure you can just uh you can just run backwards and jump up here and jump onto here and he'll just never not even know you were there like that because he'll give you a few seconds just to uh find out where you were and let's just uh jump up here because in order like the next place i usually do for this is just uh well don't get caught because if you, if you get caught by someone or a guard, Rajan will try to find you and he will not stop until he finds you. I am serious. Okay, so let me just, uh, yeah, also, this is probably a very safe, like, route right here because he cannot, uh, reach you up here. Like, he, he, he can, he can do whatever you want and he will not be able to get you. So let's just, uh, try to aim right there or something. Let's see if he gets it. No, right there. Wait, Rajan, where are you? Where are you, Rajan? Oh, why? Rajan, no, don't, don't, don't go down there. Go, like, go around or whatever. No, 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 Rajan, no, no, you, you go here. You go here. Rajan. Come on, Rajan. Thank you, that's better. Sorry for not really, the, like, the lack of interest in commentario. Just, okay, thank you, and let's uh, see if we can get you on here. Yep, we can, and now let's just, uh, Aim right here. Something like that. And okay, now we lured him to the third. I almost called it banana. Yeah, those things totally look like a banana. Okay. So now after you're done probably aggravating yourself trying to get him to go to that one, because I think that's actually the hardest. And I do not know if he'll go, like, if he'll uh, wake up again. I really don't want to find that out. So let's just, uh, okay. Okay, we can get this without getting caught by any guard. So let's get our final blueprint from Rajan. Three out of three. What? The blueprints? They have been stolen. That's the complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape effectively bringing it to us so yeah that's probably for this episode let's play sly 2 band of thieves in the next episode we are going to be starting 
one of the many missions here. Look. So let's look at every single mission. We have one sly one right there, one sly one right there, one Bentley one right there, and uh, sly one right... Wait, there's... Wait, is there four sly ones? I'm pretty sure there's actually two right by each other or something. Or maybe there's only four missions. Okay. Yeah, I think there's only four, actually. Because they're... Yeah, there's only four. Okay. So we're going to be starting one of the four missions, or doing some of the four missions that we have in this part of uh, the Predator Awake. So this has been Demon, Demon Razorblade, saying see you later, and... Get in the f Whatever. I was going to do like a burn, baby, burn. Like, burn, baby, burn. But anyways, that's all for this episode. See you guys later. Bye.